My name is Mark Gravel. Um, I graduated in 1996. I studied maths and economics and uh, I'm now a director at Bank of America. I studied maths and economics and I had a kind of a circuitous route to, uh, to the world of banking. Really, I hadn't ever intended going into it. Currently, I run um, global risk analytics technology uh, in EMEA. So we would calculate the risk on a lot of the big portfolios, particularly the um, retail, US retail businesses uh, in Ireland. So it's a lot of technology, a lot of number crunching, little economics knowledge thrown in there as well. I did a, a small internship in a bank and I really thought I didn't like working at banks, so I promised myself I'd never do that again. And then I went and uh, started my real career as a software engineer. Um, the maths allowed me to kind of get into that. Um, so I became a software engineer writing code. Uh, then I had a couple of jobs doing that. I had a startup then with a, a few friends of mine. I did songwriting for a little while then uh, as a living. And then I, I got back into technology full time. Um, I was designing software. I worked at BT in England. And then when I moved back from the UK, um, I got a job in banking. My background in economics, of course, from, from Maynooth helped. And of course, I had a lot of experience in technology. So that, you know, crossover of technology and financial knowledge allowed me to kind of move into there and that's how I ended up in banking. I think the main thing that I got from Maynooth, both through maths and economics, um, was a kind of love of learning. Um, the, the one thing about the field of technology and I guess the field of finance to a smaller degree is that it changes very often and it's important to keep learning. Um, it's important to have the skills to be able to critically think and kind of you know, examine things like that. Technology changes very, very quickly and I think the rate of change is uh, increasing all the time as well. So it's very, very important to kind of stay abreast of current events and to have new perspectives on things regularly. But technology really is the backbone of a lot. I mean, literally international finance could not happen without the, you know, abilities that technology gives us today. I would say for people who are looking to get into banking or get into technology even generally, there's a few things. First of all, take some risks, particularly when you're um, early in your career and you don't have a huge amount of mortgages and things like that to, to worry about our family. Um, take some risks, you know, do some, try some, try some different things. And it kind of leads on to the second thing, which is it's not always important to have the very direct path. Sometimes doing something else that's gives you something that's slightly different, can give you a different perspective, can give you a diverse perspective, and uh, the roundabout route, uh, which is the one I took uh, to banking, uh, you know, will end up sometimes enriching you very much and allowing you to offer uh, a lot. The final thing then is, um, it's gotta be something you enjoy. So you find something that you enjoy doing, um, you know, and if you can build uh, a life and a career around something, you know, that you enjoy doing, it'll never really feel too much like work.